In terms of services offered towards students, it's first and foremost, it's a safe place. So it's an all-inclusive space. Anyone and everyone is welcome. And we're the space for students to come and do their work, hang out over your lunch break, and just like a positive space. I'm still pretty new because I am a first year. I'm also from Saskatchewan. So this is actually like a nice place for me to just feel supported in general. It's also a nice place for me to have my cultural practices as well. I'm here for study, I'm here for lunches. Um, I like to attend what I can. Some of the events that we hold at the center are things like our First Peoples Awareness Day. We had our uh, Inuit Awareness Day and our Métis Awareness Day that just recently passed. That was pretty awesome because you got to learn a little bit more about each of those groups. And another one of the events that we have is Joseph Petawanaquist come in. He comes in once a month and he's a traditional plant-based medicine person. So he comes in and he teaches us all about how this specific tea will help you with this function of the body, that kind of thing. For counseling services, it's a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one traditional approach. So students are welcome to come in here and basically you just sit down and you can discuss like your life goals, what you want to do. We're here every day, Monday to Friday, for the students' needs. And that can be anything from support to soft counseling, referrals, advocacy, providing information on bursaries and scholarships. We look at the student from a holistic point of view, and we call it the medicine wheel, and it's a lifestyle, and it's based on four quadrants, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And we emphasize to the students, they're here for the mental part of it, and that's why they're at school, but they really need to think about the three other quadrants in order to stay balanced and healthy and well. For students who want a more traditional indigenous approach, we actually have an elder that visits bi-weekly. Basically do all the same things that you would do with a student advisor, but with that more one-on-one -on -one and more cultural touch. I have an office here. If the students wish to see me, they I can take them into the office. I do provide um, many other things, such as guest speaking sometimes for the students here, for faculty members who are doing Indigenous knowledge or Indigenous education. I was very privileged to be asked to, uh, to come and help in any way that I can. We're trying to have it more Indigenous focused, but it's open to the entire community.